it just was not, it wasn't a good feeling. It was like a constant feeling of fighting. And, uh, you know, add to that, I wasn't just medicating around the anxiety of the divorce with food. Then I was medicating the results of being obese because now I'm being told like, you know, my dad's a doctor. So he's like, give me this hard time. And he used to be uh, the fat kid as well. We looked almost exactly the same. He just had glasses. Like our childhood mm. pictures were really similar. Yeah. yeah. I was generally referred to by my weight. I remember, um, you know, we were, uh, we were going skiing and getting the equipment to, and they have to, they have to know your weight to adjust the binding. Yeah. So it knows when to release. And the guy doing it was like, where's the 108 pounder. And I think oh, I was wow. like in fourth grade or so. I don't know. Um, that like that's even though our names were on everything and my brother was jason Jeez. like you know everyone was by their name and then there was the 108 pounder i really do owe him so much and it's not just my fitness uh he set me he kicked me into a course in a really kind way that I, like i just wouldn't be here without that um that's when i started to learn more about myself and started to be willing to do that so he it was the first time exercise wasn't hey fat kid what's wrong with you why are you wheezing why can't you go you know all the negative stuff why are you eating this it's like what do you enjoy doing and it's like well everyone makes me run and i hate it my knees hurt it's like okay well we don't have to only has a french accent so he sounds a lot <laughs> a lot cooler saying it but he's like you don't have to run he's like have you ever tried a rowing machine have you ever tried i think it's incredibly valuable and it's most valuable in the places in your life where you struggle the most and i think a lot of people don't seek them out there it's like well i've been doing well at work and i want to keep moving ahead so i'm going to seek a mentor at work that's awesome but uh where are you not doing so well Mm -hmm. that's probably mm -hmm. where it's not just that you shouldn't have one in the better performing areas of your life but you definitely should have one in the places you're not doing as well cool. we've mm -hmm. got many aspects of our life and like it or not they are totally intertwined totally. you cannot have a bad relationship with your parents and expect to have a perfect relationship with your spouse or your kids or your boss or your, you know or any one of those things and expect the others to all be fine mm -hmm. you know we have a bad day at work i don't care what anyone says when you walk in the door a piece of you is still dealing with that and it will yeah. absolutely be there. Now, whether you're controlling it or not, you know, that you, you might be controlling it beautifully, but a piece of you, your energy is going to controlling it. But from losing the 100 pounds when I was 17 turning 18, by the time I was uh, 33 or 32, um, I had gone from 180 to 222. So I put back on 42 of the 100 pounds and, you know, was on the trajectory to there's a show called my 600 pound life like i'm sure by now if i was still alive i'd be on it wow um, i just like it was just getting worse and worse and every year is a little bit less active and a little bit more um unhappy and you know i was in physical pain i had had back surgery and just never did the pt for it so like mm -hmm. things just weren't happy um, my anxiety was really flared up solution set up and this this came on really fast it was like beginning of june to the end of june you know 180 change in her situation um and i get this call from her primary care doctor who's just like i'm going on vacation for six weeks i'll check in with you when i'm back mm. and i was like um you know she barely was 100 pounds at that point she was losing two pounds every day mm. and i just said i was like doctor do the math she won't be here in six weeks i mean literally like there that the math does not work out she will stop existing at some point um and his response was just okay we'll take her to the emergency room if you need to and he literally hung up and he's she like so like oh okay whatever click uh so i get off that call i walk back into our bedroom and our son is standing at the foot of the bed he was like playing with something and also looking at his mother and he's essentially watching her die in front of his eyes 